Aries, welcome to your mid July 2021 general tarot update. It's Raina here. So, I've been cranking out these YouTube readings this morning, and it's probably afternoon by now. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna do Aries and finish off the fire element. I'm a Sag, I just finished Sag. I did Leo. So, let's see what we got here. So funny, I got that for Sanj, and I've, I just shuffled these cards. So that is, I think, you know, that is pretty darn interesting. Got that one for Sanj, too. Let's pick an additional card. Okay. Okay. Bring out these two cards together. I'll talk about the past position. The past position is the Queen of Swords. So this can indicate to me sometimes that a person really feels like they have to make a decision and yet their heart is pulling them in another direction. And they may have been through the ringer with a person, maybe jerking them around, giving them the runaround, um, including an employer, and they but there's something that is emotionally keeping them in that place. Now we talk about the heart of the matter, the four of um, cups. And a more positive positive note, this may be that what you have been given or what you are being offered has a stabilizing effect on you. <laughs> now, with Aries, a stabilizing effect is like taking a horse tranquilizer <laughs> because um, it's like you're not, uh, or is that angel dust? I don't know, but that might be. It's like, let me put it this way. Um, it's not very... It doesn't go over very well for an Aries person to be kind of like pacified. Um, it's like a sleeping pill. It puts you to sleep, but it doesn't really activate your consciousness. You're just, you know, you're a fire sign and you're ruled by Mars. End of story. That's just how it works. And this is how it works for your job as well, is that if you are someone who is very um is working someplace and you have a, a very lucrative type of work that you're doing it's easy to get caught up in that but it's not where it's at for you so if you have the moon in cancer or you have mars in cancer um or maybe taurus you can or Mercury in Taurus. Can you have Mercury in Cancer? No, it's impossible. I think. No, you can't. Um, you may be more security-minded, and that can lead you to do things that you don't really agree with. Hence, the higher message, which is the devil card. The devil you know, that's a phrase. Stick with the devil you know. Um, the devil card is about excessive materialism. It's about being lured by the pleasures of the flesh to the point where the person is imprisoned by it. In the Rider Waite deck, illustrated by Pamela Coleman Smith, there are chains that are tied to the couple that is with the devil because they are um, chained to him. And this is what happens when you're not living in your authenticity, which includes what it is that you're doing, your right livelihood. If you're doing something that either does not agree with you morally or if it's financially lucrative, but it's not feeding your soul, 
it's going to show up in your emotions. That's what the four of cups is, that lack, that lackluster emotion that the person has, kind of that deadpan, that, um, uh, what would you call this? Uh, impassive, um, unimpressed kind of a thing. And Aries, all fire signs want passion in life. So it doesn't have, it's, I'm not saying it's the end of the world, that feeling, but it's not where you want to be. What crosses you is the eight of wands. And this is stagnant. This is creating stagnant, a stagnancy. Is that a word? Stagnation in your life in general. And so that's something to look at, you know, do you feel a sense of your life um, being full of movement, which is what the Eight of Wands is all about in the upright position and fire, you know, that sense of like, yeah, this is what I want. This is my passion and things like that. When you're caught up in what those, the, you know, the top row talks about, then your life kind of comes to a grinding halt. And that's not what Aries, Aries is about that movement. What's coming in, this is, you know what? I did get that for Sag too, the Knight of Wands. Um, and I said, I always say that this card is supposed to be a, uh, assigned to Sag, but I always get a, a an Aries vibe from it because it seems like the warrior going into battle and there's like a very um, courageous type of vibe from this card. It's really about, you know, you know, believing in your authenticity. I mean, believing that you in your in your sovereignty that you have the right to your freedom, and that means that you get to decide what you're going to do with your life. And doing that, you can make things happen. Uh, the outcome, I did pick an additional card because the three of swords can be a card of heartbreak. If you, you know, if these cards are related to um, a relationship issue, you may be um, not in love with somebody, even though they're in love with you. And there may be, you may be in lust with somebody. Um, maybe you're with them because the sex is good. Maybe you're with them because they have a lot of money. I don't know. That could be it too. You never know. But it's like selling your soul to the devil, you know. Um, and the three of swords, what I think as an outcome card, I didn't have to pick another card. It's not like bad or anything. It could be that you have to cut something very definitively like a surgeon, very cleanly. You have to have a clean break with something. Maybe you're on again, off again with someone because of these kinds of um, obsession, attraction, where you just like feel this pull to that person, but it's not leading to a good outcome overall. And so you have to uh, be able to, to, to have a clean break. So I picked an additional card and I got the seven of pentacles. This is a wait and see approach. So um, if, for instance, you are um, like with the Knight of Wands, maybe you're taking a chance with a new person and you are like, you know, excited about this person, but you need to be patient and see if it is going to turn into something more permanent. Um, and the same thing with work matters. There might be something where you are starting something yourself. Maybe you were looking for work and you couldn't, you know, you didn't get any offers and now you're doing it yourself and it might take time for it to take off. Aries is very impatient and you have to learn how to have more patience. Just like I have to have patience with these trains that are going by. Okay, that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope that you resonated with this. 
Uh, if you would like a personal reading, the link is below. Uh, I do a lot of uh, astrology readings, actually. Um, I'm primarily an astrologer, but I love the tarot too. It's fun. So check me out at the link below. Take care. Bye.